Senhores desta sala, licença, eu vou chegando. Eu vou mostrar meu Pernambuco com o coração cantando. Eu vou. You may come from anywhere, east, west, overseas, to Pernambuco, and it's a lure. Just come. You're welcome. Nossa viagem começa pelo Recife, a capital que surgiu em 1537 na área deste porto natural. On these historic streets, Portuguese, Africans and Indians have become one people. It was also in Recife that, in 1630, the Dutch arrived and with them also came the first Jewish community of the Americas. It was a time of major urban changes. Recife is a political and cultural melting pot. It's an important technology, business and trade center. It has excellent hotels and the second best medical treatment center in the whole country. It's home to the beautiful Boa Viagem Beach, which has the fine gastronomy and a busy nightlife. It is the land of the Instituto Ricardo Brenan, a trip to medieval times. Also, the Museum of Francisco Brenan and his magnificent sculptures. Recife of the Multicultural Carnival and the world's largest parade, Galo da Madrugada. Para construir uma vila. Olinda is the most Portuguese of all the cities of Pernambuco. Narrow streets, up and down the hill, historic houses and a large concentration of religious buildings, a world heritage site. Olinda is the home of inspiration of famous artists and craftsmen who make up the culture of Pernambuco. A romantic place, restaurants that serve excellent food. It houses the convention center of Pernambuco, which is the largest convention center in the state. During Carnival, Olinda becomes a collection of rhythms, colors and costumes. A party of the local people to people from everywhere in the world. As the sun rises in Pernambuco, it reveals an ocean of warm and crystalline waters. The state has 124 miles of coastline and beaches filled with exuberant nature, warmth and joy. This is Porto de Galinhas, located on the south coast of the state. With its tide pools, it has been voted the most beautiful beach in Brazil. Because of its hotels, bars and restaurants, it is a popular destination for tourists from around the world. Nearby, on the quiet beach of Muro Alto, there are the best resorts of Pernambuco. Maracaípe is the surfing spot and also a place for enjoying nightlife. Still on the south coast, there are the beaches of Calhetas, Paiva, Serrambi, São José da Coroa Grande, Praia do Porto, Tamandaré and Praia dos Carneiros. A few miles north of Recife, we will find Atlantic Forest Reserves, mangroves and historic buildings. In the beaches of Maria Farinha and Itamaracá, the calm waters are great for water sports. 
In Itamaracá, it is worth paying a visit to the center of marine manatees. At the small island called Coroa do Avião, in Catuama and in Ponta de Pedras, you can enjoy the sun and the warm waters. Also, don't forget to try the local seafood. For diving lovers, there are 20 shipwrecks along the coast of Pernambuco, an unforgettable trip through the history of navigation in Brazil. E Sarvelas levantar voo, vou pra Ilha Encantada, aportar meu sentimento e deixar meu pensamento na Ilha Fazer Morada. The archipelago of Fernando de Noronha was discovered in 1503, but it was only two centuries later that the Portuguese set up a defense system there by building ten fortifications. Noronha's greatest asset is its marine park. It is considered one of the best places for diving, with water visibility of up to 50 meters. Dolphins are another attraction. The archipelago also has a Tamar Project Base, a national project created to protect sea turtles. There are a total of 16 beaches, some excellent for surfing. Tourists can rent rooms either at some of the islanders' houses or at charming inns. These inns host several food festivals during the year. Eu sou da zona da mata, senhor Pernambuco, eu vou cantar quem vem lá in the 16th century, the Portuguese chose the coastal plains, called Zona da Mata, for growing sugarcane. It was the main economic activity of the period. Sugarcane production caused an ethnic blending of whites, blacks and Indians, leading to the emergence of a distinct cultural identity. Another important legacy of the sugarcane cycle is its cuisine, rich in sweets, fruits and dishes made with corn. Many secular mills have been restored and converted into inns, where visitors can experience the history of colonial Brazil and the peace of the countryside. Agora eu vou mostrar mais um lado dessa terra. Agora eu vou mostrar mais um lado dessa terra. Eu tô de malas prontas, eu vou subir a serra. Vamos para Grest. As we travel towards the inlands, we find cool temperatures in the mountains, forests and near waterfalls. For that reason, cities such as Gravata and Garinhos are very popular during winter, offering charming hotels and inns, as well as fine restaurants. This area also became an industrial cluster, especially for the clothing industry. Delicate lace and embroidery articles can also be found in many cities of the region. The city of Caruaru hosts the largest June festival of the world, with 30 days of festivities. It is a land of parking and figurative art. Here, craftsmen mold the clay into typical characters of the northeast of Brazil. The cities of Bezeus and Belo Jardim are other important craft work centers. Muitas léguas viajei como os raios do trovão na certeza de viver as riquezas do sertão This is the region of Pernambuco with the greatest contrasts in landscape dry areas microclimate of mild temperatures at the mountains with Atlantic forest and the valley of the San Francisco River with irrigated lands which produce and export fruit and wine. The people of the back country are resilient and keep strong cultural traditions. 
There is a yearly calendar of cultural events and tourist attractions ranging from archaeological sites to water sports and excursions to idyllic San Francisco River, which has several islands and also the largest artificial lake in the world, Sobradinho. From the coast to the backlands, this is Pernambuco. Come visit, experience and fall in love with this land. Pernambuco is ready for you. Come!